everybody, welcome to the new episode of Solo Choco King and Zed! Today I'm dressed like a Benke from Get a Robot, don't ask me why, I don't know. We are here talking about uh, Mazinger Z. This is the third episode of this GX01R Mazinger Z. But today we're going to talk about something in plus. Yes, I will talk about GX01R plus. This robot was released in 2008 and only available at Tamishi Nation 2008. And it is a limited edition. This is a magic board and Bandai doesn't know what it means, but it understands very well what Infinity Limited Edition can bring on the pockets. A lot of money. So, let's roll the video! Here we are, as always, we start from the box and like all special edition that count for something in a Bandai's world, practically none, the box is very cryptic. We have only one word, nation, like a billboard neon on a black background and in red, Tamishi Nation 2008, limited edition. At the top right, we have the cartoon logo Madinger Dead. Being a special edition, we don't have too many images. In fact, on the side, we have only the name Madinger Dead. And on the top, we have a Tamishi Nation 2008, limited edition. We really have very little, like a useless special edition. Sorry, limited edition. Below, the various recommendations. Turn the box and see... <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Only Mazinger Dead Tamishi Nation 2008 Limited Edition and Solo of Chogokin. We open the box and find the robot, the Jet Scrander and the various accessory, the Jet Scrander Red. Let's compare it with the GX01R. The contents is almost the same, missing the rigid name for the display. And we can see the plastic container is transparent and no longer white. Two overpill there, one in flight mode and one docking mode, one set of Rocketo Punch setup, one set of Buresto Fire, two central missile, two plates to cover the central missile. Let's compare it with the GX01R, and we can see this plus model is not so plus, missing the jet pillar and the setup of drill missile and one central missile. Let's continue. One set of fists, one set open ends, one set of Rocketo Punch arm, one set of magnetized arms. Let's compare it with the GX01R, and yes, Bandai Limited, it is a limited on the accessory and a lot of less, very poor limited. And we can see the blue is nice bright blue now, a basic display, a sticker to apply to the display in gold and instructions. We open instruction and it is usual A3 paper in black and white with a Mazinger that in grey color. Still like the prototype mode, six images with various function and contents. And that's it. Okay, the usual limited special edition. Here the display of the GX01R Plus, which is exactly the same as all the other display. Here the place for the robot, here for the pillar, for the weapon, and here for the base of the jet scrapper. Here you can apply the sticker name, which is in gold with 10 years anniversary in the smoke. The art name is missing. We return to the sticker, like the GX01. This plot is a regressive version. Let's move to the Pilder, and we said missing the Jet Pilder version, we only have one over Pilder in the flight and one in the docking mode. The docking mode is smaller than the flight mode. Let's compare them with the GX01R, and we notice the flight mode is very similar, apart from the color of the glass, which is a less blue and more gray, and the red is a darker. And the turbine are more silver, you can notice that's more in the pillar docking mode. From behind, the pillar docking mode has no more black parts. Let's compare with the GX01 model, and the pillar docking mode has equal dimension and color. But the quality of the detail and the plastic is much better on GX01. The pillar flight mode, the color are similar but different size, look like more a GX01R. So the GX01R plus pillars 
are mega mix between GX01 and GX01R. Let's move the jet scrander of this 2008 GX01R Plus Tameshi Nation Limited. There is the same characteristic as the GX01R and the GX01, the switch asset wing. Sideway, the central wing has a Z, the southern cross are not present, and the belt is grey. Let's compare with the GX01R, the southern cross blade missing, the color is different, the central body is all yellow and no longer with the red stripe. Look like we are back to the GX01. Side, the central wing is more smaller and there is a Z, no more a narrow. The engine and the belt are identical. Let's compare it with the GX01. We see the yellow now is more orange and the red is more a light color. The engine are different and the belt color before was white, now is a gray. The central wing on size is similar but now we have a more blade line and the drawing is different we have a Z the Z and the shape of the center wing is very similar to the GX70 VS which is the one present on the field Mazinga Z versus David however even the jet scrunner is a mega mix of things Let's move to the robot GX01R Plus Tameshi Nation 2008 Limited Edition. The basic model body practically is 2002 GX01R. We can remove the central part to put the central missile. Obviously, we can shoot it. We put the jet scrander with all function of the GX01R. Let's compare it to the robot GX01R and we immediately notice the color are much more lit. The blue as we have seen is more bright, less dark. The chrome parts are now grey with a sun black shade, as if they were contact with the flame emitting from the central missile of the rocket punch rockets. The pillar is smaller and I think it worked better in the head and is more proportion. We have also a new model of the head that is longer and less wide. Side we see the GX01R, the wing of the pillar is much longer. The head is different and also different are the colors. The yellow is more yellow green and the gray is less dark. From behind we have the usually ugly screw, so nothing new. Let's put the rocket punch setup and we notice how black the parts near the rocket are. I think it's a very nice touch of realism. Rocket punch! Let's look at it. Beautiful. We can see the small builder, the different color, the shade gray parts, the new bright blue. We open the central panel. Beautiful. Here we are, the final comment and the price. It is always not a recent model, it is a 2008. And finding new is almost impossible, but finding the second hands never open, which is almost the same apart the price, is not difficult because everyone who bought it never opened it, or almost. I have two, one of sealed and one open, of course. Price change for an open model. You can find it even at 10,000 yen, what I paid, about 140 New Zealand dollars, 80 euros. But on average, the price is sliding higher. But from a select one, the price starts from 20,000 yen. That is a double, which can reach up to 30,000 yen and more. That is from 280 to 420 New Zealand dollars, 
160 to 250 euros. A very, very beautiful model, one of my favorites. But I will not say it is a limited edition because there is no numeration, unfortunately. And this plus at the end is more a minus than a plus because there is a less accessory. It is a model between GX01 and the GX01R. I will call it GX01 Plus, but having the body of the Model R, it was called R Plus. Anyway, thanks again for having seen this Mazinger Z with me. Next week we will look at the GX01R, 40th anniversary. Keep following me always here at Solo Chogokin and Zed.